I would at least go about it. I'd like to tell you and to get your opinion. And then I would ask you, you, um, how you would, how you would do it. How, you ready? Okay. If I had to put on a battle fast in a legendary venue for the first time, see like Philadelphia, and there are also factors coming into play too. I'll tell you about those in a minute. If it's a metal, okay, now what is the thing we always talk about metal? Metal right now, the biggest thing we talk about in terms of metal is all the different metal genres. The levels of metal. We got metal core, thrash metal, death metal, black metal. Uh, we have alternative metal. Southern metal. We have, I mean, uh, you, how many, okay, go ahead. T tell me what the different levels of metal are, Kevin. Can you think of them? Death metal, black metal, dark metal, power metal. True metal. Alternative metal, tr true metal slash old school metal slash classic metal slash hair trad metal. metal. Yeah, but that was just all those. Yeah, okay. Th th then you have hair metal. Then you have avant metal. Then you you, you have see metal. You you, you have metal punk core. metal and you have metal core and you have hardcore and you see metal core. Hardcore and thrash metal can all be described as a combination of punk and metal. I guess punk metal also could be, but punk metal is not even a real term. And anyway, thrash metal is punk and metal with it lining up more on the metal side. Hardcore is punk and metal with it lining up more on the hardcore side. Metalcore is a little bit more each way, but don't ever, 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 ever confuse metalcore with hardcore or thrash metal. Yeah, and, that, uh, that, 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 that would be that. like common enemy versus anti-siege. No, no. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, okay, they're all different. No, you forgot. Okay, De black metal is I like the European that. version of death metal. What about, uh, if there's more, if there's more things of metal. There's, there's a gajillion. There's, there's industrial dance metal. It's what the, 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 the okay. TVT were, ne were never metal, but there is industrial metal. There is techno metal. There is industrial new dance metal. metal. We made our new song. Okay, so we always different levels of metal. So what I would do is this. If I had to book 10 bands, okay, whatever, I would take each one of those levels of metal and pick the best example of that in our area. Uh, so. Okay, so yeah, so we're making a play on that. Okay, so you're going to learn And I would also bring in the Full Metal Racket to get everybody into the metal spirit because Full Metal Racket is a metal cover band. I hate the word cover band, but they play all levels of metal. So... It's, it's the guys from Gender and the Apes. And we forgot and group metal realm. also. Yep. It's Sinister Realm. So it's another form of metal. So we'd have to pick our 10 strongest forms of metal and pick our best example from each that, that will draw, of course, it's a, it's a legendary. And we would really, really play it up on the different levels of metal and make it almost like a documentary learning experience about metal. And, um, and then we'll try to pick somebody from the past who played a doll to kind of compare to each, maybe, whatever, if there was any influence. I will figure that part out. But basically, that's what I do at the Metal Fest. Then, since we had Judas Priest, we had Guar playing the same night in town, I would have a bunch of chicks parked at each one in the parking lot. For those people get out of that venue at 11 o'clock at night, they're freaking getting their rocks off. Yo! Ten, three miles away, guys, Metal Fest on South Street. Make sure they dress warmly. The place would have been capped by midnight, okay? Um, that's what I would do. And I would even maybe, since Judas Priest was playing and we knew that ahead of time, maybe get Judas Priest to open up the whole show. Judas Priest. Because Courtney Cox is hot, these chicks, and they're amazing girls. Incredible band. And you know what? I don't really consider them so much a tribute band because they are a shtick. Mm -hmm. But you know what? The chick the chick shticks are starting to get old. Miss Talcott, Queen Diamond, uh, Iron Maidens, awesome. Yes. But I've had enough. I think that's, that's it. Now it's You're, no longer. No volatage. It's, it's, yeah. it's got, it's, it's not, it's no longer something that is, it's, it's, it's not done but done for it. But for what it's worth, Mm -hmm. God, I don't know why I keep saying that. Sorry, Dasha. These girls, I mean, these are the best. I mean, I mean, they're so fucking good. Anyway, mm -hmm. yeah, we, uh, yeah, we know that. But anyway, so that's what that's what my metal fest would look like. Mm -hmm. And I would have this is what I would have a legendary metal person MC it. Show to Peter Ball test. So it was just it was this show from Accept. If he's in town, he's always willing to help out. Or maybe Diesel or Essel Dope, who's not always willing, but he's always around. Or we could get even. Um, uh, oh my God. Sebastian Bach lives. He lives very. He lives Sebastian Bach. Cool. He's Jersey. Yep, he's in Jersey. And I and with connections, yes, I definitely could have him asked within an hour. I could have him called and asked him. It's a legendary venue, a first time ever, and it's if so far metal. You better believe these guys would come out and help out. They would do it. I know they would. They're great guys. So I have a MC. Then I would also have somebody like Metal Metal Matt. Is it Metal Matt? Or Black Hall Radio, or even Eddie Trunk, or any of those guys if they're in New York, come down and do a live 
a radio show or do a show um, of that nature where they actually interact with the bands and maybe, uh, you know, ask a question, stuff like that. So it'll be total metal fest. It'll yes. be metal fest. Everything metal, so you can actually learn something and it'd be better, it'd be very serious. And the bands, uh, if a band calls out at the metal fest and doesn't show up at that day because they don't think it's going to be better, I don't, it's, we just heard it wasn't worth it. That's what I heard. They said that it wasn't worth it. Why'd you sign up then? You know what? I don't know if that's true or not because I didn't hear that personally. Yeah. I don't really buy it, but if it's, it is true, what do you mean? It's not worth it. It's not worth it. No, it's I, not worth. I it I, wasn't I, worth our time to hear you were coming. If that's the case. And you know, I, and I, so if I were to pick them, let me see. If I were to pick the best death metal band in the area, who would you pick? Best death metal band in the area. I mean, the one that also draws. You gotta be. Antikythera, that their one and uh, barbarism, those two. See, he's he's a metal expert. So here you go. Uh, black metal band Core. I pick Core. I'd probably go with uh, their good choice. So it's Woe, Deceive the Airline, Blasphemous. Blasphemous. That's that's all. I just named them all. That's all the black metal bands in Philly. Maybe I'm missing like one. I don't think Infernal Stronghold counts as black. Tours on, what they tours are. on tour too. Um, uh, okay, if you were to pick um, your metalcore, which one would it be? Cheeky Ball. Uh, uh, I would get Era of Affliction to reform just for this. Okay. And uh, thrash metal. Rumpel Stiltskin Grinder. Okay. Um, That's a no Power band. metal. True metal. The KMX band. Maybe Power Theory power also. Theory. Uh, what about, where does Orcus fall? I guess they were thrash. I don't know. Are Orcus thrash or are they more of true metal? You could probably put them with either crap. Where's Flesh Engine, where's Flesh Engine fall? I, I have no idea. Good question. Are they all true metal too? Maybe. Maybe they're all turned they metal, they just tell them don't that. know it. D Dustin Wayne Hamill, you are metal too, don't worry. You're very metal. You're metal. You're metal. <sighs> okay, Sinister Realm. Oh, no, power no, metal. no. Yeah, uh, they don't. Yeah, power metal or true metal or same thing? They're more, even though they, they play slow, they have uh, more of a grandiose sound, uh, so uh, you, you uh, could probably call it power metal instead. Shout out to Alex. Now, what about a band like uh, Cypher Seer? What do you call them? They're like a. Uh, I call that power metal. I don't call it power metal. What they call it? There's another word for it. I don't know. This is supposed to be a magical shiki ball. That's a shiki ball. I got a guitar with three strings, three strings tuned to the exact same note. Okay, so what do you think about my idea for Metal Fest? I like it. I, I would go see that. Yeah, yeah, I would too. Now, my idea for a Metal Fest, what I would have, I'd have ropes all across the ceiling. So if you wanted to travel more than ten feet, you just climb on the rope and oh, you would swing. Oh, yeah, that's high too. I right now, see what I what I actually want to do for my for for. Uh, uh yes. I ate it. I'll go ahead and get more. You eat all. You eat all the cream cheese. You eat the cream cheese with Doritos. Uh no, no I didn't eat all of it, but there no, wasn't I, much left. I ate the rest of it. You ate the rest of it. Okay, I had I some of it. I had that much of it. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, okay, so what? You got three strings, okay? What would you do? You want ropes so people can what? No, no, no. My, I want, here's my, my ultimate idea for a black metal show. So I want to get the black metal band to run through the woods. I want the crowd to go out and follow them. With what? Torches? Uh, whatever. But the black metal band has to play while they're running through the woods. They gotta, they gotta like, they Are gotta you have. The score? They have to have like a guitar. They have to have like portable amps strapped to them, and the drums would either be a drum machine or be like a what? What one guy just bashing one piece of the kit like it's a marching band, and uh, they just be run, they just be running through the woods. Going, rah, 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 rah. They, they'd just be doing that, and the run would probably last for about a half hour with with with, uh, with those guys behind them. I don't know. I don't think guys from Gore are that good of shape, dude. No, the, the thing is, for the hell of it, I did post this online. I, I, I pretended I was trying to start the first ever black metal concert run. And I posted a when? bunch of online message boards back in 2008. And just to see what reactions what I would get. Well, I, I got the, the same reactions that you would think. I was like, you moron, that's the worst idea I've ever heard. But, but they, I would, you, but they took you seriously. Yeah, they thought I was serious. What I did was the, you the thought one, he was serious, you moron. But the one I came back... I came back once a month with a little different ideas, like, uh, okay, we're going to try to put on a different county now. And I was like, hey, you might have heard we had a test run, the one guy, uh, uh, and uh, it didn't go so well. Well, his legs, Dan's leg is going to be fine, from what we heard. Oh, it's just going to take God. some time. Some. Yes. What is there to eat? I'm hungry. What did you eat on the 
food in. Uh, should be some bananas. Uh, there's solid. bananas, bananas there's and pudding, apples. there's ice cream. For God's sake. I'll be up in a minute. Can you look at just look? There's fruit. There's all kinds of cheese. I bought all kinds of cheese. Well, what am I supposed to eat the cheese with? There's no bread. Just eat cheese. Well, I thought I thought I thought I did see some rolls of bread, or, or maybe those were maybe those were like uh I'll be up in a minute. Well, there's there's ramen. My kids should not know what Robin is until they're in college. My kids, it's both part of the food five food groups for my kids. Okay. I need work. Okay, so wait a minute. Do you have copies of the stuff? Yes. Yes, Black, you go on Google, you type in Black Metal Concert Run, you should still be able to see the one. Uh, yeah, they caught on to it eventually because they kept metal on... Black Metal Concert Run? Yeah, if you Google that, it should come up. They might, MySpace might have taken it down because they might have changed their, their, their forums. But I kept on doing the what they, they finally caught on. They finally got the joke, <laughs> eventually. But I I I, I think I did it for. Wasn't there a naked something bicycle trip something last year? This is this is unrelated. Yeah. yeah that, was, that, was that the same guy? I think it was that a joke too or no? Doubt it. That was probably real. I think it was real because I think I know some crackpots that were going to go on it. But they weren't really crackpots. They were just perverts. So it's a joke of L. And I'm like, <laughs> I can't remember what it was. All right, coming up this weekend. I'm going to see my boys in Make You Suffer and the Aristococks at some basement, some basement in South Philly. I'm going to go to the Angry Drunk Graphics Christmas party at Asbury Lane to see P. Lander Z and Lovaz and Dickie and the Reach Around. And I'm supposed to be beyond dishonor but they're not playing, but I, I need somebody to go with me. I need people to ride with me because everybody else has got gigs or something and that's what I want to go to. Oh, if I don't make it there, I'll make it to the Noid Show, but I really, 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 really want to go to Asbury Lanes. I really, really, really want to see Low Fast, hang out with my friend Fish, and a dying CP Lander say, no, they arm their audience with weapons. I've seen them live once. I want, we're going to do a, we're going to do a highly offensive bully stunt. It's already planned. Not the stunt, actually, but we're going to do a highly offensive bully stunt. Which involves multiracial people and like uh, handicapped people and uh, dwarves and all kinds of crazy shit. A fish and a chick with pasty, bad stickers as the pasties. Yes. Mm. Make sure they stick better. Griswolds, you need better merch person. Use Walter's sticker guy. Okay, Walter makes good stickers. Walter's stickers box? Walter's the stickers stick on the stick. They stay stuck. On any surface. All right, we're gonna sign out. Uh, wait a minute, what else is going on? Um, oh, 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 Friday night is AC Slade's birthday party at Dobbs, on Jerry Dobbs South Street, put on my mom and trash. We're gonna see AC Slade dark party. Ed Vanero's gonna be there, and I'm gonna be there, of course, see my friend AC. And uh, hopefully by then, I'll also have the Johnny Chops videos, at least one or two ready, and I'm gonna bring a projector, and hopefully we can see those. If not, um, please come and so with AC for his birthday. It's gonna be forty. What do you got to lose? It's gonna be forty. It's gonna be forty. What? I've tuned all five remaining strings of this guitar to the same note. Sounds like a. Mm -hmm. Which was the sister Christmas? Christmas, yes, I own that. They're very good. Oh, and also, I think our election for best holiday CD has got to be Chrome Incident. Uh, Trans Siberian Orchestra. You haven't Orchestra seen it. Else. No, no, no. For local bands, it's so funny. They have a song called Bitch Slap, Cromwell, Bitch Slap. It's about the Cromwell. 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 It's actually really funny. It is. It's not just torturous. Okay. It is funny. It's honestly fucking hilarious. I laughed out loud by myself. I'm sorry, Dark, it took me that long to listen to it, but it's just usually Cromwell. Mm -hmm. it's, um, it's usually an incident to me. Yeah, it usually is quite the incident. It's, it's about as cool, it's about as easy to go through as uh, Oliver Cromwell was to my people all those years ago. 
But actually, well, that's just I see the guy that like had sex and killed with like zillions of people and buried them places. He was the Lord Protector of England, and uh, he uh, launched. He persecuted the Irish pretty badly. No, no, we're talking about the other Oliver one. Cromwell. Uh, I don't Historical know. figure, Lord Pre. He ruled England. He ruled England, but he oh wasn't technically God, a king. He was Lord Protector. America's history. You know Oliver Cromwell. Oliver Lord Crowley. Pre- Lord Protectorate of England. He was. He the he wasn't. I'm not gonna pretend to know something I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I know the name. I've got, Charles, I, I I wanted to make a uh, a musical about him called Oliver Cromwell with a twist. Where it'd be, it'd be Oliver. Oliver, it'd be the music of Oliver, but told the story of Oliver Cromwell. And I'm very glad I never got around to writing that. Would have been would have been pretty bad, but you know. But, you, but the guy, oh, wait Oliver, a Walter Wall- Wallace, Sean Wallace, from oh he was uh, Braveheart. No oh, Gibson, why you gotta be nice? It's a waste. Oh, Gibson twice tonight. Yeah, Mel Gibson's all about the. Okay, we're gonna sign off. I gotta go find something for my daughter to eat at eleven o'clock at night. You gotta go. You're going to a open mic. I might go. I I may or may not at this point. It's too late now. Yeah, I mean, it is too late, so I don't even know if I can go by. But um, I'm gonna. uh, We're gonna. uh, Okay, we're gonna end with a um. What should we end with? A jazz Um, interlude. A jazz interlude, and then we're going to play a collection, a montage of videos of sorts. Mm Mm-hmm. That we've taken over the last couple weeks, and. I want to, especially, um, I am replaced a, a couple AC Slade, a Dark Party videos, and, um, what else? Oh, <gasps> Ovo! Ovo oh, on Sunday! Be sure Ovo to drink plenty of Ovlo team. Oh, and we also did a contest, uh, the acronym Ovlo, O-V-L-O, was the stand for to describe the band. And we're gonna, Knights in Satan's service. And o, o is for, V is for, L is for, O is for, an acronym. Mm-hmm. Spell it out. Okay, best one gets all the colossal box of shit, box of crap, tickets, and all kinds of other stuff for the new CD. Um, and also a date with Chris Roosh. I'm like, um, and also we're going to be serving Ovlo here on the show. The um, they actually have a drink they made. There's a recipe on on a Facebook. Uh, so the video Sunday live six o'clock EDT, and we'll see you then. Close it out. Okay, Max. Jay Biller might be here with his collection of leather from J- Rob Halford's leather collection. He would talk about doing this. Just like I've been talking about doing a, a cover of uh, River Runs Red by Life of Agony with all guitars two to one string. You're not going to hear this anyway, but here we go. I got the razor. I got the razor around my wrist because I can't resist. I got the fear of double blue timber. Oh, if I can't play, I'm going to run timber. Oh, I'm going to run timber. Oh, I'm going to run timber. Yeah! God help me! The river runs red and I think I'm dead. Dying! We're gonna cut the song off right there. I'm not gonna go into that. What, what did you do today? Why the dark you say? Why are you moving away? The way I'm trying to remember how that one was like. Wait, hold on. Away. And then the video we made with that uh, with those little sheep, the little sheep, the little sheep. We're gonna play a video of the MSH. Here we go.
to the uh, the um, I've got a um, a, <laughs> a hairband or heavy metal version, um, a screensaver of Star Wars that I found somewhere. I'll, I'll put a link to that somewhere. Okay, then. All right, let's feed Kelly. I abuse her kitchen in her basement. So. Kitchen's mine. So. Tomorrow. Thursday. What are you doing tomorrow? I was probably going to get in a workout tomorrow or after work and then probably try to just get down more of the What's above Connecticut songs. Uh, nothing. That's. Oh, I'm going to be doing that. It, Friday. Friday is Easy's party. What are you doing Friday? Fri uh, oh, your studio. Studio, and I just got invited to a friend's house at Upper Darby. Upper Darby. So I might, I might go to that. I never tell you that when Dak, when kids were little, we used to drive. I was driving down through there one day. It was it's nighttime in Upper Darby. And my son, Zach goes, "Mommy," he goes, "This looks like rock bottom from SpongeBob." Uh, there are places in it. I, I have a lot of friends from Upper Darby. We all do. If you're in this I know, area, you know, we're you talking, should. We're talking about where you know where you hit the bottom of where you go all the way up to the pike and you hit where the, all train tracks go and all the Korean places near uh, right near the Street and all stuff. Yeah. Where everything kind of comes in at one. And there's all kinds of lights and wires all over the place. And mm -hmm. you know, to a little kid. Yeah, it looks like rock bottom. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know which. I think I might have been there once. It's been so long. I love SpongeBob. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't really watch SpongeBob, but vacation, I have Vacation. I'm ready. Vacation. I'm ready. Go this, SpongeBob. Meow. I like money. Yeah, I'm doing this song for you. Here's the song I'm doing for you. Well, that's it's me. I have the meatloaf version of that. It's on Bad Out of Hell too. It's on Bad Out of Hell too. That's okay, but he did that. Meatloaf did that on Bad Out of Hell too. I have that forty-five. Mm -hmm. That's when rock and roll dreams, dreams come, come true. true. Keep on believing, and you'll discover, baby. There's always something magic. There's always something magic. There's always something. Magic. The meatloaf version oh. was made to a single. And then the other side of that is every man or something. No, no, that's Cliff. Cliff. Maybe it was. Uh, was Streets of Fire? He did the song from Simon, that. Simon, I'm trying to remember the try and remember the B side of that 45. And then the other song I like is this one. You ready? Well, you're nobody called today. She hung up when I asked her. Did I have no idea what this song is. She thinks she's being special, special. Woo! It's definitely like a gay song from the 80s. Yeah, I don't remember it. Uh, what about, she's so mean, but I don't care. I love her eyes and her wild, this wild is hair. Box. Dance to the beat. <laughs> And we it love the wild, wild west. for the in the wild, wild west. That's a crazy video. Wild Big west. Bottom. I wouldn't mind covering that, just doing it totally faithful. What? Wild, wild, wild west. That's be a good song to cover. Two songs I want to cover that and Dance the Night Away. A million songs I want to cover. I'd love. <sighs> if I could pull off Dance it, if we could pull that off vocally, either band, that'd be, that'd be great. I want you to play Dragon Attack. By Queen. Ogre Attack. And you need a hell of a ogre battle. Right. A Grenade Dragon Attack is song about the game by Queen. Okay, yeah, I was thinking of ogre battle. Sorry, I don't know Dragon Attack. Ogre battle. Ogre, ogre battle's on Queen, too. It's like the heaviest one. It sounds really heavy. It's the first Queen for that album. Because that had a crazy little thing called Love. It had Play the Game. It had Dragon Attack. Right, okay, Dragon Attack is probably something you put next to Ogre Battle, then. Ogre Battle's on Queen 2. Fun, it's funny because I, I remember talking about it to Shadowplay, and when we went to go listen to it, it was so freaking, it was so lame. I was thought of it as being like this. Mm -hmm. The Godzilla shady. soundtrack. I think you should have put that song by Can't Heat. The one that sounds like Cajun music. You should cover that one. Can't Heat. There's a band called Can't Heat. Uh, Burn in Hell by Twisted Sister. Oh, 
Brothers and Sister. <laughs> I also want to hear Public Enemy Number One by Motley Crue. All right. Only Twisted Sister song is a. Uh... You're the bird, see no evil. I understood. I never heard these letters. That's Jesse and Lisa Later. Up to. Blistered. Baptized by fire. That was, that was Jesse's band. The comic horror books definitely were shakes, dude. Okay, I got. Yes, one only. Signing out for our 360 Live, and I'm gonna air all of this because it's funny and I think it's pretty cool. Uh, nothing. The, the layoff of the Beyond Dishonor black comments and uh, n nothing about the about the uh, you know Holy Child day camp stuff. Be oh, no, 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 no. We're taking. We're not putting the Holy Child stuff. This got nothing to do with anything, and we're not putting up. Um, what was the other thing? Fred Flintstone, no genius, and Barney has no penis. Flintstones, meet the Flintstones. Oh, um, oh, that was from Flintstones and Automobiles. It's one of my favorite movies. It's one of the few movies I could sit and watch. The second Flintstones? No, Plays Flintstones and Automobiles. That. Plays and oh yeah, oh yeah. They're on the bus and he, and 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 uh, they're like, let's sing a song and see if see Barney goes. Three coins and a fountain. Uh, 11, okay, it's 11.30. I got I to head out, skis. And I everything, I look at him like he's nuts, and then John Candy goes, Flintstones, meet the Flintstones. And everybody starts singing that because people in this country are not very... They, 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 everybody knows that song. Hey, Rick Santorum states that because of obesity problem in America, we're cutting our food stamp. It's bad. <laughs> you, you saw all that stuff on, online that I was back yeah. and forth. Rick Santorum gave a speech two days ago saying that he's massively putting in for cuts and spending on food stamps because of the obesity issue. Right. I think I heard... What a moron. Well, what's he running for? What, what, what's he moron. I used to campaign where, for where is he? Ass. Where's he trying to get? He's trying to go... He's extremely right. Well, he's extremely like far right. Far right, Christian right. He's... I think he's just going... He's a moron fucking on. Okay? He's just going to go up his asshole. He's no, not... Let me tell you something. Here's the correlation. Poverty and obesity. Here's the other one. Affluency and anorexia. What is so freaking insanity or ignorance? What would you rather have? Hmm. You see, Ask poverty and, and the, the poor aren't the ones who need the the the, uh, the obese aren't the ones who need the food stamps. And shout out to freaking Phil Bonnets for finally putting the first food supermarket in the city in Chester since the federal government took it over. <coughs> Did you say you have a grocery store in that whole city? Okay, let's turn this off. Yes. Yeah. No, seriously, he's, can you 